and welcome back to my garden. In today's video, we're going through the garden and I'm giving you a tour. We're going to check out where my garden is at the end of May. I finally have everything planted in my garden bed. It's really exciting. Everything is starting to grow. Everything is starting to get established and it's really exciting to see. The weather is perfect today. It's a beautiful 25 degrees and sunny. It's the perfect day to go through the garden and see what's going on. We're going to start up here on the upper deck. I have two decks in my backyard. This deck here comes off the kitchen and then the lower deck comes off the family room. And we're going to go through the entire backyard and see what's growing. Let's start here on the upper deck where I have these grow boxes. These boxes were the first things I added to my garden four years ago. This kind of was the stepping stone to what my garden looks like today. And it's really exciting. It's funny how much you learn when you're just starting off with a new hobby. My hobby was gardening. I decided that I wanted to start a veggie garden four years ago. And here we are today. My garden has grown immensely and I've learned so, so much. I'm still learning every single day. What I love about these garden boxes is that they're right off the kitchen and I love growing certain veggies in here. I specifically love growing lettuce. We eat so much lettuce and I love growing my own lettuce. It's sad when the summer temperatures come and the lettuce starts bolting, but this year I'm determined to find some heat tolerant greens to grow throughout the summer. The other thing I love growing in these boxes is radishes, especially in the cool temperatures of spring when the garden is just opening up for the season. I'm going to harvest these radishes today. Now, they don't look very big on top, and these radishes, I'm pretty sure, are stunted. So we're going to pull these and decide what we're going to plant in these boxes next. This was my second round of radishes. I'm going to leave these in. And these radishes here, I just planted and I'm hoping to get a harvest out of these. But these boxes are the perfect size for radishes, for lettuce. The other thing I love growing in these boxes is herbs. I absolutely love being able to come outside the kitchen and just grab some herbs while I'm cooking. We'll see what I'm going to add into these boxes once the radishes are pulled. We'll see what they look like, but we'll do that a little bit later. The lettuce thrives in these garden box. The lettuce thrives in these garden boxes as well. And what I love about the area of these garden boxes is that the posts from the deck provide a little bit of shade, and that's why I think the lettuce lasts a little bit longer up here, especially when the heat starts rolling in. Is because it does get a little bit of shade as the afternoon goes on and the sun starts dropping. So let's move on and see what we have downstairs on the lower deck. Coming down the stairs, I love just having these small grow bags kind of lining the stairs here. I change up what's here every year. Last year, I had a lot of flowers here. This year, I have a lot of herbs and I just threw a flower in the middle. So we've got some chives that are going to flower here. These overwintered and came back in the spring, which I actually wasn't expecting. But here they are. I love what the flowers are looking like. They're just starting to bloom. They're absolutely beautiful purple flowers, like a light purple. I just know the bees are going to love them. I'm going to leave that. I also have some fresh rosemary, some flowers, more rosemary, and some green onion. New to my garden this year is this small flower tower that I purchased. This flower tower I absolutely love. I had the idea of growing lettuce in here herbs and strawberries. The strawberries are thriving. I also have some topsoid lettuce in here. It's thriving. The green one here is absolutely thriving. I put some flowers on top, but I'm going to have to replace the middle one. It died out, but I do see some new blooms. So maybe I'll leave it in and just deadhead him and see if this flower comes back and starts blooming again. The only thing that didn't do well in this tower, which is unfortunate, is the romaine lettuce. And I'm not sure why, but it's tall. It's not as stiff and strong as my other heads of lettuce. I might just end up putting some flowers in here, maybe some extra strawberries. And this just might end up being a strawberry and flower tower, which is totally okay. I love seeing it here in the corner of the deck. 
as we go over here to this side of the deck, this is my grow bag garden or my deck garden, as I like to call it. I absolutely love this part of my deck. These grow bags thrive. This area of the backyard gets full sun late into the evening. And so I love planting things here that need a lot of sun. So far this spring, the lettuce is thriving. I'll be harvesting some lettuce today. We also have some tot soy lettuce. This is starting to flower. Unfortunately, the heat is getting to it, which is totally okay. You can see the flowers starting to form on top there. We've got some peppers over here, a bell pepper, some bell peppers, really excited for those. I have some squash planted in these, two grow bags, zucchini planted with some lettuce, Zucchini just got transplanted last week, so it's just starting to get established, but is doing really, really well. The reason why I have this garden covered with green netting is because, unfortunately, a couple of weeks ago, I had some bunnies hop up on the deck overnight and eat down my broccoli and some of my lettuce. So I had to cover this up with green netting, which seems to be helping. The bunnies have not come back, which is absolutely great. We've got some eggplant back here in the corner, some watermelon here, which is going to thrive right here in the corner, and it's going to grow up this trellis, this tomato cage that I have. The watermelon is absolutely going to thrive in the sunshine here in the corner. And then for spring, we have some peas, and I really hope that I'm going to get a crop of peas before the warm temperatures take out these plants. Maybe not these ones but hopefully these ones. We also have some kale here and I've been mixing a lot more herbs into my veggies this year. So we've got some oregano, another eggplant, lots of dill. Definitely mixing more herbs into my gardens this year. And then just a flower pot over here. Moving along, let's take a look at the raised garden beds. I have five raised gardens. I love growing in the raised gardens. I find that my veggies absolutely thrive. Let's start by looking at this one, which is right in front of the deck. This garden bed gets the most sun in my entire backyard, second to the, second to the grow bags on the deck itself. I love, in years past, the back has been covered with tomatoes and the front covered with peppers trying to switch things up a little bit this year. So I'm growing scarlet runner beans in both corners of the raised bed at the back. They're absolutely thriving. If you actually follow the vines up the cage, they've already reached the top of the cage, which is incredible. So we're going to have to vine these beans really, really well. I did not grow scarlet runner beans last year. One of the things I love most about the scarlet runner beans are the flowers. And the flowers attract the hummingbirds, which is really, really exciting. And I'm excited to see that again this year. Again, I'm mixing a lot of herbs into my garden. So I have some basil here next to this pepper. I'm only growing sweet peppers this year. You'll also see that I have a lot of marigolds mixed into my garden. The herbs, especially the basil, I love planting near my tomatoes. I have four tomatoes in this garden bed. And the herbs, and especially the marigolds, the scent of them help keep some of the bad bugs away. So that's why I love doing it. Plus, I just love pairing basil with tomatoes. So I have four tomatoes in this garden bed. Then in this corner over here, another round of scarlet runner beans growing up that trellis. And then I have another tomato here in front, the bush beef steak. It's going to get quite large, but I'm going to keep it pruned and see how it does in the corner. And then again, different varieties of different varieties of basil. I have purple basil here, sweet basil here, and the lettuce leaf basil here, which is absolutely beautiful. Plus some peppers, more bell peppers. I have three planted here, along with some cilantro, which is absolutely thriving. If you come along around the corner, you'll see I have another small raised bed right here on this side of the deck. And this raised bed is quite small. It's a two foot by four foot raised bed. 
This was the last raised bed I added in the backyard, trying to find all the space I can to grow my veggies. I have this covered because of the broccoli and the lettuce. This is accessible to the bunnies and I'm trying to protect them from that. So I have this covered right now, but the broccoli and the lettuce is thriving here. And I hope that I will get ahead of broccoli before the warm temperatures take them out. As we spin around, you come along the side of the fence where I have three more raised beds. These are four foot by three foot raised beds right here. These are the second raised beds that I bought after the small garden deck boxes on the upper deck. This was the next garden raised bed that I bought along with these ones here. I bought four of them, four foot by three foot. So this year I've got a lot going on in this garden bed. I have some cucumbers along the back which I've never grown in this raised bed before. And right now they're absolutely thriving. Then we have a couple of tomatoes here. We have four tomatoes, actually. We have these two small red robins in the front. They're just going to get 18 to 24 inches high. They're small micro tomatoes. Really excited to grow those this year. Again, we have some basil and some parsley mixed in here. We have the large leaf basil, we have some Thai basil here, which is really exciting, and some parsley here. So again, mixing in those herbs, mixing in those marigolds. And then we have some bush beans here in the front, really excited about those. They're doing great. One of the last things that I transplanted over here in front of the cucumbers, I have some zucchini, which actually still needs to be thinned down. There's actually two plants here in each hole. I thinned them down. There used to be three in each hole. I'm waiting to see if one plant kind of outgrows the other before deciding which plant to cut out. But really, you can only have one zucchini per planting hole. They get large and they need their space. So unfortunately, two of these plants need to go and I will just keep one plant in each hole. And then we also have, again, some basil mixed in here. Loving the purple basil this year along with some marigolds. I'm also trying to grow this red robin right here in this hanging basket. I think this is fun. I want to see how it goes. It's thriving. It's growing new leaves, which is really exciting. It rained yesterday, so the garden is green and absolutely thriving. This raised bed is three feet by eight feet. This I got on Amazon. I absolutely love it. I can link it below. We're growing a ton of stuff in this garden bed and it's absolutely thriving. Let's go through and see what's in here. Starting over here, we have an eggplant in the front, which is really exciting. And you'll see that I have it covered with that green netting again. Last year, the bunnies ate down my eggplant. So this year I'm trying to save them by wrapping them in the green netting. And so far, it's working. Again, we have some basil, some herbs mixed in here. Beautiful, thriving, sweet basil, purple basil, marigolds. We have a giant tomato here in the corner. It's doing really well. Some peppers here in the front. I have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve peppers here. Peppers can actually be planted pretty close together because they like to be able to touch leaves with each other. It helps to shade out the vegetables and they do really, really well like that. So we will stake these up if need be as they grow, but right now they're doing just fine. We have some parsley in the middle. We have some tomatoes along the back and we have some cilantro here at the end. Beautiful, thriving, looking really, really good so far. For the most part, I've had things in my garden beds planted for two to three weeks, depending on what it is. And some of those cool season crops, like the lettuce and the broccoli, have been planted for about four weeks. Over here is the last garden bed. This is a three foot by six foot raised bed, also got on Amazon. I absolutely love it. In the back, we have a tomato. This is the Big Beef Hybrid. It's thriving. It's growing like crazy. Probably one of the tallest tomatoes I have so far growing in my garden. Then along the back, we have some cucumbers and they're absolutely thriving as well. 
they get some shade over here, this garden bed, in the afternoon. It's not full sun right into the evening. So the cucumbers, I think, as we get into the heat of the summer, are really going to like the shade. The eggplant here in the corner, probably not the best place for it, as I said, because this corner of the garden bed does get some shade in the afternoon. And eggplant loves the sun. So we will see how it goes. I planted an eggplant in the same spot last year but did not cover it with the green netting and the bunnies got to it. It ate it down three times and I did not get a plant. Learned my lesson, covered it this year, so we'll see how it goes. In total, I have four eggplant planted in my garden this year and hoping to get a harvest. We have some basil in the front next to this gold nugget tomato. This tomato is absolutely thriving. I'm gonna have to stake it up or even maybe add a second cage to the top here, invert it on top. But a gold nugget tomato is only supposed to get two to four feet tall. So it should do just fine here in the front of the garden bed. And then last but not least, we have some more bush beans, again covered because last year the bunnies or the critters ate down my bush beans and they didn't do as well as they could have. So learning my lesson, covered them with the green netting and they're thriving. They're even starting to flower. You can see a purple flower right here. I have a mixture of green, purple, and yellow bush beans planted here. We also have some lettuce tucked in here just because I had a little bit of space. It's thriving. The bunnies haven't found it just yet. This is the view of the garden. It's quite messy in some areas of the backyard, but this is the view of the garden from this area of the backyard. You can see the upper deck boxes up there, the front garden in front of the deck there, my grow bag garden on the deck over there. The only other thing we have in this backyard is this grow bag here, just with some flowers. I do like to plant flowers sporadically throughout the backyard to help bring in the pollinators. Flowers are really important when you have a vegetable garden. It helps bring in the pollinators and really it helps add some color to the backyard as well. I love these hanging baskets. They were a Mother's Day present and I absolutely love them. I get them for Mother's Day every single year. And that's it for what my garden looks like at the end of May for this May garden tour. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you found it helpful and share it with a friend so that they can learn too. I'll see you in the next video. Bye friends!